Well, hello, hello, everybody. It is I, Deltray, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, we headed off to the Red Canyon for our first taste of real battle. It's bandits! What did you really think was going to happen? This is a Fire Emblem game, after all, and we handled them very well. Costas is now out of our hair once and for all, and I have to say, I really enjoyed the fact that each of the characters had their own little line to say when they killed their first enemy. It's such a small thing, but you have to keep in mind, this is the first time most of these guys have seen a real fight, right? And I just thought that was such a cool little detail. Adds a lot of characterization, makes these guys feel more alive, you know? Now, I never killed anybody, or at least I'm not legally allowed to say that I have. But I imagine that that would be a pretty uh, interesting experience, you know? It's... It's gotta be hard. It's gotta be hard. I don't know, though. <laughs> you take somebody like Annette, and she's just like, Oh, yeah, see, I'm great at this. <laughs> I love killing! Whereas other characters like Felix were more reserved, right? But apparently, Felix, Dimitri, and Dudu have all seen fights before like one of you guys said so I guess that would make sense in some regard still I just I can't help but admire the level of detail with this game so far I just hope it can maintain this level of quality throughout the entire game because honestly it set the bar pretty high right off the bat right now you guys once again gave me a ton of useful gameplay tips one of the ones that I saw most often had to be with the enemies and their skills right so apparently unlike in fates this game determines the skills the enemies will have based on their class, I think you guys were saying. And if so, I gotta say, that's an interesting choice. Certainly makes it easier to remember who has what. But I will say that it's almost kind of disappointing in a sense, because I think that one of the more interesting aspects to Conquest was how they gave certain enemies unconventional skill sets, right? So you had something like... I, I don't I don't want to spoil fates man, but th the Great Wall map So if you played conquest, you know what I'm talking about where they had that group of snipers at the start right and they all had counter And that was a really interesting challenge if you tried to take them out that way when you would detect them at melee right You would take damage anyway So it kind of created this interesting scenario where you could try to fight them with your own snipers or you could Attack them from melee anyways, but take the counter damage right and of course who could forget ninja hell where all the ninjas on one side of the map had poison strike and grizzly wounds to take 40% of your HP away every time they would hit you. And you know, it just it just seems like without being able to give enemies their own individual skills, it kind of takes away some of the interesting setups that they could come up with. But I mean, I guess we'll see how that plays out. It's certainly a lot easier that way, I'll say that. We also have a more lore-based comment from Halvos here. And this is just like a slight clarification and I, I appreciate stuff like this he says every saint is a crest founder but not all crest founders are saints and okay thank you that was a little bit confusing for me because I remember uh, in the previous part when we spoke with Sateth he was speaking about some of the saints or like the founding saints of the Saros church I believe it was and I, I was a little bit confused about that so thank you for clarifying I I sort of thought it was like a genealogy of the holy war situation where all crest founders we're sort of, sort of deified, right? Because if you've played that game, or or if you haven't, I guess, uh, essentially, all the founders of the Holy Blood in that game are more or less legends in universe, right? So I I, I thought it was sort of a similar situation, but no, it it, it doesn't seem to be the case, I, at least not with regards to the Crest founders. So thank you for clarifying that. I'm sure that's one of those things where if I would have spent more time at the library, I probably would have understood that a little bit better. But honestly, I could probably spend a whole part just reading the books in the library, right? So I don't really I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. I also saw a fair bit of people coming out in defense of Ash, and it's like... <laughs> I'm sure you guys are right, it's just that... I don't know how many people I can really train on Maddening Mode. It seems like the experience is really, really tight, I gotta say. But I would be remiss to not mention this, because this is the best argument for Ash I've ever seen. So my hobby says, where my dear Ash fails in stats, a personal skill, combat arts, weapon levels, gross, and literally everything else, he excels in heart. Now, with an argument like that, I mean, what can I really say? <laughs> that and a bundle of stat boosters is funny enough for me. I just thought this was so funny. Now, see, this is a guy who gets it. Screw stats, right? Screw growth rates. Screw class skills, abilities, whatever. You just gotta use your favorites, man, and that's how this game goes. That's the true spirit of Fire Emblem. I wanted to call attention to this one because I just I just love little trivia like this. So apparently, as Jay Silva says, so Jay Silva says, I remember reading somewhere that the illustrations at each of the beginning of chapter narrations tells a sort of story of their own. I love little details like that, so I guess I'm gonna pay closer attention to that sort of thing moving forward. See if I can't piece it together, you know? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be related to the main story or whatever, but I just, I just love little things like that, honestly. It's very interesting. All right, let's move right on. 
jumping back into it. I remember this being a peaceful place, as funny as it's been called the Red Canyon. I remember this being a peaceful place. The support with Sothis. Okay. Can I get Sothis? Is she like a mannequin? That'd be pretty sweet. Hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this. She's got to be like a dragon, surely. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you. She's so. either a dragon or a god, or maybe a dragon god. <laughs> honestly. I'm not scared. You're scared. Uh, I'm sorry you surprised me. Yeah, you surprised me. I'm not quite used to this, so this. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this. You and me place. both. I wonder what the connection with Saros is exactly. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Still, it feels familiar. Have you been here before? Have you been here before? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as yeah, this. Yeah, it's pretty ambient. And that map music too, am I right? Oh my lord. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love. And all things in between. Hmm. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what. Took Apparently, place. it was pretty intense. Professor, according to Saros, anyways, soon. right? We're all ready for the journey. All right, Dimitri, let's get on it out of here. It's time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day, I will remember that which I have lost. And who the hell is Sothis? Like, why does she have oh, this connection? Way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. It seems. Did I or did I not? Why are you so grateful? Why are you why are you grateful? I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must hmm. become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh no. Oh, We're stuck with her. Standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. Nah, I'm just playing. So this is fine. I just, I'm just so curious. Like, what's like, what's her deal? <laughs> you know what I mean? She doesn't seem like she Finally remembers back. much of anything, even I'll her past. Report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh, Edelgard. What about Edelgard, Dimitri? Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. Or maybe you just want to body bag me again, like you did in the prologue. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. Come on, Edelgard, I'm just being polite. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. She's very uptight, honestly. He didn't say much of anything, and she just comes at his neck like that. Why are you so worried, puppy love? Ooh, Dimitri's got a girlfriend. <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor. <laughs> Me and Edelgard, please. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it some other time. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's amusing. I don't know, though, they're... So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. Like, honestly, they kind of fight like a couple, so I could, I could see that. But why did they target the Not sure if that's where we're going with. with that or not, but... We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Of course. Of course! Good. I'll do it all! I have high expectations for you. As do I, and these growth By rates the have way, been paying off. How was your time in Xanadu? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. I for see. a goddess from the heavens, Xanadu could only have been a temporary haven. So what could Saros' nemesis have possibly done? That pissed her off so much, and then. Does it have something to do with this goddess, I wonder? 
No, but she said... Right, right, right. She said he killed her mother, I think. Unless her mother was a goddess, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. A goddess. Yeah, tell me more, Rhea. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. So she's like Mila, basically. Kind of. From Echoes, I suppose. I didn't know, my father never told me. My father never told me anything. All he does is talk about trees and nature. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next- Nothing to really tell us to death, they're all dead. Dimitri a saw goddess. sure of that. I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at right, all. Right, so she does. She has amnesia. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know. Oh, you guys hear that? There's like some chanting going on in this music. I wonder what that means. Definitely makes the scene sound intense. I'm getting some serious otherworldly vibes from so this. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A demon? A mortal? A ghost? That must be it. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure that you're dead necessarily, but. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow... See, that's the million dollar question, though. Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. You're forced to stay with me? Well, I think I make for very pleasant company, personally. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> oh, okay. Glad to know you too, Sothis. God damn. Just rip into me, why don't you? Oh, I gotta be stuck with this guy? Ugh. Mutiny Part in the one. Mist. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. Oh, poor Ash. So this is as far as we ever made it, guys. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know so that the story rainy season me. is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, Young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. I guess I'd have to go back and look at the previous one to try and piece that together a little bit. It looks like there's some kind of bountiful god or something like that who's providing for all the people. There are new places to explore in the monastery. I think that goes up as you get more professor level, right? So I probably want to max that out because I am broke at <laughs> 3,000 gold, man. Mission for your students. All right, Ray, let's hear it. reports that Lord Lenato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Who is Lord Lenato? Why would he do that? Lord Lenato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. And see, so that's something I'm very curious about. I have no idea why any of this is happening. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. And I just feel so bad for Ash, man. Like, this is his stepdad, man! <laughs> or not even stepdad, it's his adopted father, of all people. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Well, obviously we're going to fight to death, otherwise there would be no map. Excuse Come on. Me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? Oh, this, this girl. This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. This is Catherine. She's totally broken. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. 
Well, that must mean Alois is a beast, and that's all. That's like all I'm worried about, man. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. I don't know about you, Rhea, though. That's that's such a suspicious thing to say. <laughs> that's right. Fall in line. <laughs> Do as you're told. Or we'll send Catherine at you. Oh, please don't send Catherine at me. I mean, you can send her to my team, but... Oh, what do we got? Oh, you're curious how Felix is doing. Yeah, let's do it. More sports. I thought I heard someone. Are you here to train? That would be the first thing he's worried about, too. Yes, of course. Let you us do battle. Waving the sword around alone is boring. And I'm tired of crossing swords with worthless opponents. Yeah, like those ten bandits I killed on the last Don't map. You seem like a worthy adversary. Uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. I've always been interested in your technique. You learned from the former captain of the Knights of Seros, and traveled Fodlin fighting as a mercenary. Good sparring partners like you don't grow on trees. Oh god, don't get me started on trees, man. Giving me dad I flashbacks. Know that I will beat you, and I will surpass your strength. Why are you so focused on becoming stronger? Yeah, like, what's the deal with that? Is it because of... Why? Hmm. I never really thought about that. I thought it would maybe be because of the tragedy of Deskur, right? Because he lost his brother in that. So I thought maybe that would be sort of like a motivating force, maybe? I learned to thrust a sword before I learned to write my name. Then again, it sounds like he's just always kind of been this way, so maybe not. Of course, my upbringing wasn't unique. That's how it is for all children in my country. You're no use if you can't swing a sword, however mighty your crest may be. It was the perfect environment for hmm. me. I could live free of stodgy values and virtues. So he's just like a natural-born fighter, then. Grow strong so you may live. And live to grow stronger. That's what I was taught. Do you have any other ambitions? You remind me of myself. Yeah, do you do anything besides fight, man? Come on. Why should I? <laughs> Nothing's as important as the pursuit of strength. But that's enough, idle chatter. Take out your sword. My mind is emptied of all but the thrill of the challenge. Hardcore, man. Deltra and Felix's support level is now C. Oh, maybe I should have waited. Yeah, because that fills up your motivation, right? Sylvain's birthday? Hell yeah! Thank you so much! We can spend 200 on my man. This guy's gonna be a beast. I can feel it. Alright, so let's let's explore. Oh, right, certifications. Maybe we should do that. You have allies who can now take the beginner exams. Take a look at the certifications to review which they can take. And we get five free. Yeah, five free seals. Cool. Playing online is not for me, thank you. Alright, so we did get myself and Dimitri to level five, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you guys did tell me, actually. So if I go down to some of these other classes, right? Like Hero, for example. How do I... Is this it? Yeah, yeah, here we go. So, you see where it says base value, right? So, if I have this right... Uh, speed's probably a good example. So I, I have 11 speed, naturally, right? But let's say I were to promote into a Hero right now. It would put my base speed up to 14, then, right? Just based on what you guys were saying. And then I, it, it would be 16 in total. Because it would put me up to the base of 14 and then add 2 on top of that for the for the class modifier section, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, that could be really cool. Because you could unlock, like, an armored class, for example, and gain a ton of defense on most of your guys. Like, I only have 7 defense. So if I were to somehow be a Forger's Knight, obviously I can't do that. This is, like, what, a level 20 class. But let's just say, for example, I could. I would gain 10 whole points of defense. And I don't know how practical that really would be for, like say a mage character to train armor like I couldn't I mean I could take a net and train her to be an armor knight which would put her up to what that would put her up to 12 right there I don't know that I would do that but it's it's just kind of a funny system I guess that's that's pretty cool thank you guys for explaining that uh, as for this though we are gonna go with Mirmidzan for your boy and also apparently you can take exams that you don't fully qualify for but it, it's a chance right so I could have, for example, went for fighter, but I might have failed. To tread. Uh, let's go ahead and change into Myrmidon, I guess. I think that gives us a little more speed, maybe, or... <laughs> I, I wasn't really watching, I'll be honest. Yeah, we get one extra point of speed for being this. Oh, I guess I can't... Yeah, you can only take one a day, I guess. But I could have also tried to become a fighter, but it's only 65% chance to pass. Right, so maybe we don't do that. Uh, Dimitri, same thing. I could try to make him a Mirmidon, which would honestly be kind of nice, because... 
Uh, you guys made it seem like classes do have their own growths that they add to your own, so I assume that if I made him a Mirrodot, he'd maybe be a little faster. But we're gonna go with Soldier. We're gonna go with Soldier just for the sake of not failing, basically. So that's right, take that test, Dimitri. We studied all week for this. And now, we have Soldier. I don't know how good Soldier's good really results. gonna be, <laughs> honestly. Let's go ahead and do it, though. Just for the sake of promoting. And now, is there any other benefit to this, or is it just... Oh, I guess we get a little bit extra Lance experience. That could be nice. Yeah, Dimitri, definitely going to be sticking with Lances on him for sure. I'm thinking like Paladin, honestly. <laughs> he just seems like a natural fit. Oh, no. Here's something. Mission assistance. Ask for help from a student outside your house, and that person will join you for battles and missions until the end of the month. You can only ask one student for help each month, and that student will not earn any experience. But honestly... Uh, you can still build supports though, right? You so spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Soldiers, don't you understand? This is half the game. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste. We have like a month. Uh, I had forgotten. I had forgotten. forgotten. I don't believe that is the truth. No, it is more likely you were dreaming the whole day away. <sighs> Nothing gets by you, so this. Must try harder from now on. You met your heart for now. The shifty merchant. What? Things we can't obtain here likely obtainable by way of the underground. Are you unfamiliar with Garrig Mox Underground? The place is an absolute paradise for those who can't stay above ground. That's right, it's an, it's an entire black market underneath the school. What? Well, let me go there. That's where the secret shop is, right? I can see Anna chilling in that kind of place. Like, I could just barge into everybody's room. Like, oh, Raphael, are you in here? Nope, well, I'm just gonna rummage through your shit, I guess. Got some professor. The art of fishing, an exhaustive explanation of techniques to encourage fish to bite the bait when they go for an animal. Who knew there was this much to do about fishing? Apparently, Lindhart knew! This is Lindhart's room, right? Yeah, goddamn you, Lindhart. Quit hogging all the professor experience for yourself. Bernie! Huh? Um, is someone there? How does she know? <laughs> Be my friend! Uh, I could... Mission assistance, I guess, but... Mm, I don't know if I want Bernie for that. <laughs> I think I'll probably get uh, Marianne, right? I could definitely see the use of having two healers early on. Big Raph, what's hey, up, man? Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. Do you think of anything besides eating and training? <laughs> Dude, come on. Yeah, I'm actually also a really big reader. And I enjoy gardening. <laughs> actually, My that's the dude's thing, isn't it? Spurt. Yeah, the dude's actually a big gardener, as it turns out. Arts and crafts guy. This what up, Pedro? Is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. <laughs> that plant has strangeness. It's called a Venus flytrap, Petra. Do your research. Uh, green flower seeds is gonna give us a pitcher plant. Three of them. Wow. <laughs> it's one hell of a seed, man. And blue flower seeds, too. I think one of you guys said that this is like the most mathematically complicated thing in the entire game. So I'm just sitting here picturing Violet having like calculus equations fly through his mind, deciding which seeds to plant. <laughs> Let's see, uh, carry the one. Divide by three, and uh, blue flower plus green flower is the best result. So blue and green one seems like a decent combination. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? That is how plants work, yes. I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers? Yes, the flowers and I are one and the same. Thrive, despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Hmm. So what are you saying, Blaine? You're like a fish out of water? She is extremely formal, like, compared to everybody else, you know what I mean? She, just the way she speaks. She seems either, like, very sheltered or just, like, wise beyond her years. I'm not entirely sure which it is just yet, honestly. Hmm, what? I desired fresh air. I have hobbies too, you know. That's not like you. True. Oh, he has a quest. I, a I didn't even notice. To ask. There is solitude on the battlefield, but there are limits to what one can achieve alone. To be stronger, more efficient, visit the Battalion Guild. Okay, let's do it. Bringing some reinforcements along might give you an advantage in battle. Try talking to the Battalion Guildmaster. Hey, we get a steel lance, which is good because Dimitri keeps breaking my shit! <laughs> God! A lot of you guys were so surprised that I kept getting those crests, which I guess maybe Dimitri's is pretty rare. 
Seems like Felix's goes off all the time, but then again, so does Dimitri's. And his actually costs more durability, so that's kind of annoying, honestly. And now we can we can battalion up, basically. I think everybody can get one, right? Just about. Yeah, so we have ooh, some C ranks. But yeah, this this is just like a whole can of worms, man. I don't even <laughs> I don't know where to begin with this. I feel like the stat boosts are gonna be insanely important though. Like what is this one? This one gives two attack and some defense and a lot of charm too. Which I think that charm Thank you. Oh, that was the quest right there. And we got all that stuff. Italians from various God damn, Dimitri. The guild. So the stat boosts aren't permanent, necessarily. Like, if I take too much damage, I guess they go away. Kind of reminds me of the horses in Berwick Saga, hey. honestly. Oh, I almost missed the homie. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with... Nice camera angle. <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Oh, dude, you have no idea. And neither do I really, but I, I remember she just she just kills everything. Yep. Honestly. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. Oh no, but then how will I recruit my Marianne? Get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. You are so lazy, Hilda. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I don't even go outside anymore. Don't want to take the chance. It's over here. Oh, the stable. So this is where Marianne is, no doubt. And I got a bunch of pitcher plants, so I'm probably just gonna throw those all at her. <laughs> or Bernadetta. Hello, Dorte. Hello, Hello Professor. Hello, Marianne. Um, was there something you needed? Actually, yeah. Well, first of all, I came to see the horses, oh, obviously. You like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. I think this is the only time I've heard her genuinely happy about something, and that's <laughs> that's sort of depressing. Uh, I was thinking mission assistance though with Marianne, right? Because, like I said, two healers seems like that could be useful. Definitely. So yeah, I think we'll go with Marianne. Marianne is gonna help. Great. Whoa. I can just walk right through him. Are you serious? Oh no, Marianne's gone crazy. She has an imaginary horse friend. It's fine, Marianne. I have an imaginary friend too. I call her Sothis. Could you imagine if Bylus is just hallucinating and she doesn't actually exist? Come on, dude! <laughs> Oh, Sylvain, what up? Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. I saw him at the training ground, I saw him in the dining hall. Uh, I'm gonna say training ground. Of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's important. Just something gave me the feeling. That's probably where he's at. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. Hmm. He already had status and prestige. So, why raise a rebellion? Uh, I guess it's none of my business. But that's exactly the question, though. And I don't know, Ray is acting like super sketch. I'm kind of inclined to believe that Lenato's onto something, but... I don't know exactly what that would be, necessarily. Uh, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. He would say that. Damn you, Linhart. Uh, when you're busy, there's no alternative. I'm on your side, Kaspar. See things my way. Exactly. Didn't you kind of suck, though? <laughs> Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. Sounds unhealthy. He must have a healthy appetite. He's fine, He's Kaspar! Like calling him a goat. <laughs> a goat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right Lindart, so you got one good line. What? School of Sorcery book. Textbook from the Kingdom School of Sorcery. Probably belongs to someone who went to that school. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. Fine, I'll go talk to Sylvain. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that. I like how he leads in when he says that. He's like, yes, Deltre. What have you said? Not at all, actually. If you no, do wasn't see me. anyone getting too close with flame, Please, inform me of it at once. He's extremely overbearing, I gotta say. What's over here? Angelic tea. Right, so you guys did tell me that actually you can do these, uh, the, the mess hall, you can do it multiple times a month, and it actually stacks with itself. So in theory, I can do defense like two or three times even. Which honestly, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend one point on boosting our defense right now. 
Because, let's be honest, these guys hit hard. <laughs> Maddening mode enemies do not really play around like that, so more defense seems like a good idea. I'm definitely just going to do this again next week. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? I had heard, yes. That woman. She borrowed <laughs> a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. <laughs> Yo, where's Manuela? She is the greatest. Can I just get her right now? Honestly. Can I just get her on my team? <laughs> three second rule. Come on, it's the truth. Everybody knows that. The three second rule is a standard. If you've never used that, then you've never actually dropped any food that you enjoy. A list of the places where fish are most likely to gather in the fishing pond. Someone put a lot of thought into this. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder whose desk that could be. Oh, it's not. <laughs> this is the Golden Eagle's house. I thought for sure it would be Lindart. Hey, teach. There's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Goodness. I heard what about your Ned? class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. Of course, they're nothing compared to me. Ferdinand von Eyre, the greatest to ever do it. Hey, Leone. I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. I thought she'd be off somewhere trying to hook up with my dad, honestly. To -tier mercenary professor? That depends on how hard you work. You really want to bring in the money. Depends well, on how hard you work, honestly. Than all the fancy nobles around here. I can tell you that. Well, you got the right attitude, at least. Okay, so what's in this training ground? Oh, there's Catherine, I guess. A dull longsword. Seems like something Dimitri would own. An overcoat with many holes and tears. It probably belongs to someone who often finds themselves in fight. I'm thinking Caspar. This is definitely Raphael. <laughs> definitely Raphael. Impressive, Catherine. Hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. Is that so? You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. Safe bet there, Felix. Yeah, she could definitely kick my ass. You really are as hardworking as they say. That's an overstatement. I'm just me. Spoken like a true hard worker. Always so humble, this Deltra. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? See, that's what I'm saying, Hubert. Hubert seems perceptive, lord for Lamenter sure. Lord must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. I will not lose. I'm Metal Guard. She seems very business-minded, you know. She's got a lot of drive, I'll say that. Uh, Whoops. Dorothea, what's Are up? Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? Oh my god, Dorothea. Dorothea, why are you thinking with the wrong head here? This is serious business. This is Ash we're talking about. I've that is. whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to <laughs> a ghost. stay up too late. Or so I'm told. You're kind of gullible, Homer said it. to ask of you. Those who struggle with private concerns will sometimes visit the cathedral for guidance. If you have the time, why not offer your keen insight? Let's do just that. Talk to the cathedral's counselor to learn of the various troubles plaguing the people of the monastery. To help solve them all, you'll need to become close with many different people. And we get a steel bow. Cool. We're going on a mission with the knights, right? I wonder if... Oh, sorry. It's nothing. I was just wondering if someone I've been searching for might be among them. You're looking for a knight? I hope you find whoever you're looking for. Yeah, who, who exactly... Yes. Well, maybe... Hmm. If he's here, he's probably a knight, though it's also possible he became a monk. Those things could not be more different. <laughs> he either sates his blade on the blood of his enemies, or he's a healer. One of the two. Uh, best pest practices. A list of the different pests that target plants during cultivation. Complete with methods of eradication for each. You wouldn't want to be a bug in this greenhouse, that's for sure. <laughs> God, this fast travel is such a godsend. Alright, let's do this advice box thing. 
Each month, people will approach the counselor with their concerns. Select responses to satisfy them, and your support points will increase. Alright. This is a big raft. I've, I've looked at the notes in this box before. Hey, whoa, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, shit, there's a timer. Uh, and it seems like everyone's always worried and complaining about stuff. Is everyone really that bad off? This is a major invasion of privacy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. True, a lot of these are a bit trivial. Worry often leads to growth. Worry often leads to growth. Hey, we got it. Oh, I'm so good at this. Yes, Mercedes. You know, if you had that steel bolt, I really could have used that in the last map. Ash started with no weapon, you know. Who is this, Leone? Let me just ask you straight. What do you think makes a great merge? This is definitely Leone. The wisdom to not work harder than the pay demands. The will to fight for those who can't protect themselves. The strength and skill to overcome any enemy. That's a tough one. Now, the will to fight for those who can't protect themselves. Oh, two for two! Yes! That's a fun little mechanic, I guess. I don't really know how useful that is. It didn't seem like we were getting, like, two up arrows, so I guess you don't get that many support points from that. But it's a fun little characterization, if nothing else. Ash, my dude. <sighs> Man, this whole game hates me. My bases are shit. My life is shit. Please, Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the church. At least, he never said anything to me about it. We're gonna get you something, Ash. I don't know what yet. But we're gonna we're gonna do something for you. I have a past My man. Is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's right of rebirth. The right of rebirth, huh? I want to go in now, though! Fine, I can't stay mad at you, Eloise. Maybe Lord Lenato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man, a true believer. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. Hmm. Kind of think that Rhea might be full of shit, honestly. <laughs> it's starting to seem that way. Listen. Especially with all that nonsense about, yes, we will show what happens to anybody who dares turn their blades against the church, or what whatever she said. It's just so suspicious. Out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. And no, I'm saying. that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost. Dude, Lysithia is a whole mood, is she not? <laughs> My girl, we need to get Why you some levels. Like, so bad. The people of Dusker? I just don't understand it. Only four years ago, they murdered our king and slaughtered the soldiers and knights who were with him, all of whom were innocent. Even if he can forgive them, I can't. Not ever. What they've done is against all codes of honor and ethics. She's really fierce about this. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. She lost her fiancé, right? So, I, yeah, I, that probably hits her very, very close to home. Really? But still, man, he got to do, and he seems like a good enough guy. I don't see what the beef is there. Can't imagine anybody hating to do. Speaking of to do, I totally, I totally missed everybody in this room. Stoutness. There are times when one must take up their blade, even if there's no chance of winning. But this, it's downright senseless. Lord Lenato knows better. If he had enough allies to back his rebellion, it would be a different matter. Allies? How so? How so? Uh, my apologies. I was just thinking aloud. This whole situation is a bit too strange for my liking. Even with the necessary preparations in place, there is always a chance that something unexpected will occur. Please be ready for anything, Professor. Yeah, I'm with you on this one, Dimitri. This whole thing just smells, honestly. This is strong, but on the front lines, Anything can happen. Dude, I wouldn't worry about him. He's about to put you out of a job, my man. Losing him would be His defenses for are like insane. I hope the church understands that. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. I saw some people that were surprised that I thought Lorenz was more chill than Ferdinand. Really? Are you like I, I mean I guess you would know better than me, Abuse but Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? I, I guess it just seems like he's very conscious of his surroundings, or like conscious of his subjects, you know? He, he always seems to have them first in his mind, at least based on everything we've seen. I agree. Precisely why true nobility is well respected. Whereas Ferdinand, all he does is talk about himself, man. He's like, oh, I am Ferdinand. I am the greatest noble to ever noble. That's 
Catherine has invited me to train with her. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be ready before endgame, honestly. Oh. Wooden flask. Well. Well, that's definitely Dad's. Or Manuela's. Probably Manuela, actually. Yeah, where are you? What? Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. Yeah, only everybody's talking about him, Manuela. Empire, the Alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Hmm. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Yeah, I'm not really sure what the aim is here either, though. But it's hard for me to say, like, who's really at fault, at least at this point. Now, it's extremely important that the professors tend to their own studies as well. If you agree, I'd be more than happy to share my knowledge. You'll receive faculty training from Manuela. Select a skill to start training. Note that accepting this quest will expend activity points. Hmm. Well. Yeah, let's do it. What can she teach? Swords? Faith? Or flying? I mean, the correct option is probably flying, but... I, I don't know, I have, I have so many people I already want to put on wings. It's like, do I really need another? And I'm sure it's not, like, a bad choice. Like, I'm sure Wyvern Violet is, like, really good, but... I don't know if I necessarily want to do that, so swords. I simply must thank you, Professor. Maybe I can get, like, a better sword or something, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really think that decision through very much, I will not lie. But I will take those rewards, thank you, thank you. Let's head down the hallway, and I think... Yeah, there's another quest Castle down here. Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, uh, I think it was. Kristoff. Do we know a Kristoff? I have a request. You talking out of your ass, Dad? Come on, fill me in. Spent all this time telling me about trees, but don't want to tell me anything about lore. It's crazy. Hey, it seems I've lost something. Would you have a minute? Can you help me look for it? I think I already found it, buddy. Didn't I? Or, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's what I thought. We get an armored bear stuffy. Oh, good. That'll be the perfect decoration for my room. Then again, I don't think Sothis would approve. Uh, use the gift option to increase your support points with others by giving them things they like. The gift will also increase an ally's motivation. Oh, okay. You may sometimes find lost items around the monastery. Use the lost item to return them to their owners and increase support points. As with gifts, an ally's motivation will also increase. So that's that's interesting. That's another way to increase motivation. So I guess I don't have to spam the mess hall like every single time, basically. That might be good because I was kind of I was kind of concerned about that because it seemed like it would be very difficult to actually train Violet in anything, honestly. That's so. Uh, without having another way to increase motivation, you know. I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Because there's only so many points to go around, right? And at least right now, it feels like I have to. I have to basically eat away all of my points every day. Otherwise, I can't teach anybody. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm just going to throw flowers at her until she loves me. Don't worry, Birdie. I come bearing gifts. Here, have this... Have this armored bear stuff. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Now will you be my friend? No. Well, don't worry. I have just the thing. <laughs> How about this pitcher plant? Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. She likes pitcher plants. That's great because I have many of those. Now will you be my friend? You will. Great. Your bond with Bernie has deepened. I should try finding her. Let's do that. I have all those other supports, too. Let's, yeah, let's just do those, actually. Ash and Dimitri. Mm, Lord knows this kid needs a friend right now. Can you please fix this one first, Ash? Absolutely. Sorry. I should probably take care of it myself, but we'd be here until sundown if I... No problem at all. I've had lots of practice with things like this. Happy to help however I can. Oh, a bit of a handyman, are we, Ash? That's oh. good. Well, thanks. Actually... I'll fetch you something to make the job less of a burden. You like sweet things, right? Actually, I was kind of wondering about that because his his personal ability is lock touch, right? So he, I don't know, was he like a bit of a like a straight rat kind of guy before he got uh, into the monastery? Maybe like he had to fend for himself. But then, no, oh, but then again, he was adopted by Lord Lenato. 
Did it say, like, in his bio what exactly that happened? Because th there's got to be some reason that he has thieving talents, right? Ah, uh, well, yes. Sorry, no, I can't ask you to do that. I'm on a diet, you see. Ash, I told you, there's no need to act like that. Uh, I can't have someone from the royal family running errands for me. It doesn't feel right. Lenato <laughs> would be furious with me, I'm sure. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. If Lord Lenato says something to you, I'll write him a letter of protest. Man, I was kind of hoping that they would have worked this out by now, but this is just one of those things where this support is all well and good and everything, but it makes no sense given the timing. Yeah, if he survives this serious ass-kicking we're about to give him, I'll be sure to write him a strongly worded letter. Come on, Dimitri. I really don't mind, so you needn't worry about that. And while I'm being candid, I'd prefer it if you didn't speak so formally to me. We're supposed to be allies. We fought side by side as equals, haven't we? I know. But to commoners like me, you're royalty. Regular folks normally only lay eyes on someone like you once or twice in their whole lives. It's an interesting dichotomy, I guess. I understand. I really do. When I ascend the throne, perhaps I should do a tour of each city. It's definitely interesting to think about because I, I'll be honest, I hardly paid attention to who's a noble and who's not. Other than the characters that specifically call attention to it, like Ferdinand and Lorenz, right? Obviously they're nobles because they don't shut up about it. <laughs> But the rest of these guys, right, it, 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 it almost seems like they're interchangeable in a way, which I guess is sort of the point, to say, you know, nobles and commoners really aren't that different, uh, given, si uh, like, a similar set of circumstances, right? Like, we're all attending this academy together, so really, how are we any different from one another? What? No, that's not what I meant. I'm at a loss. I wish to make things better, but I seem to only upset you more and more. That is certainly not my intention. Perhaps I should leave you be and take care of our shopping. Please, I promise I'll go myself just as soon as I finish with the tent. Ash, enough. Jeez, Ash, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. You've done okay. enough here, man. I have a question. Answer me this. I don't normally eat sweets. So what would you recommend? Oh, I don't know, that's well, nice you. If price isn't a concern for you, then you should go for the sugar candies. The ones they make in town are really delightful. Uh... Oh, your highness, please, you mustn't. Got it. Sugar candies it is. I'll go ah, got him. <laughs> Took me a second, yeah, I just realized what happened. Get played, your Ash. Highness, please come back. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure these repairs get done. Oh, come on, Ash. Don't worry about it. Just let him do his thing, man. That was <laughs> pretty charming. Yeah, Ash seems like a genuinely good kid. Only thing, though, is <laughs> those supports, man. The timing could not be much worse with that. And Nat and Felix actually got a support. What could they possibly talk Today's about? Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy <laughs> tum. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. This seems like the exact sort of thing that would just piss Felix off, honestly. <laughs> oh, here comes Debbie Downer, no doubt. Interrupting. Felix! You weren't listening, were you? Yeah, your singing is horrible. I heard enough to know that you're hungry. <laughs> no, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. You have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. <laughs> Dancer Annette, here we go. Yeah, see, this is what I thought the conversation would be. <laughs> Just them staring off. You're evil, Felix! And you're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! Oh my god, he's just Sheegan! He's just Sheegan, guys! Oh shit! I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Ugh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> and of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. You should have heard my new hit single, I can't bear this anymore! It's been on the top five for weeks. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. You didn't realize a lot of that things, Felix. Songs seem to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart, after all. <laughs> Such a smart oh, You are the worst. Huh? What was that about? You happy now, Felix? Water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. Oh my God, he really is. He just shaking. I love him now. <laughs> 
I can't wait until he gets a personal sword that literally makes him immortal. That's gonna be great. I definitely want to keep training Annette's authority. When you guys did say that she does get more rallies, kinda wish she didn't tell me that, I'll be honest, but... I mean, I know now, so I mean, shoot, might as well. I already know that Mercedes gets physic eventually, so that might be a thing that we want to do, right? Oh, this bubble tells me where uh, Bernie's at. She's actually outside of her room, guys. We can't miss this opportunity. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, she's a noble, too. Oh, good. Uh, bye! That's right. Goodbye. It did say something like that. Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Oh, God. Human interaction. What's going on? Hey. How you doing? Nothing big. That lady just wanted me to show her around a bit. But strangers are just so nerve-wracking. You seem kind of, or you've never seemed scared of me. Oh, she literally won't come out of the room, dude. I imagine it. I think you're right. I don't know if I ever had felt scared around you. Yeah, except for all those times where we have to interact. But other than that. Why? You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here. And I have no idea why. It's probably because I don't speak. That might be something. I'm glad regardless. I'm happy about it too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. Oh no, not outside. <laughs> it's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I'm not even your teacher yet. I don't know what I do. If you weren't here, it's all right. Come on, Bernie, be strong. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. By the way, was that you singing in the greenhouse? <laughs> what? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? No, I just go there every day. It's the most experience I can get. The line, professor. <laughs> we really gotta work on your self esteem. <laughs> well, that certainly happened. Be my friend! Wow, thank, wow, thank you, you so, so much. much! I'll put it next to the other three! <laughs> it's kinda weird that you can give the same person the same gift multiple times like that. It seems like they might uh, get a little bit tired of that pitcher plant sooner or later. Authority! Thanks. She's gonna keep killing it. She's just killing it! Faith. Oh, I, I totally missed that. Nosferatu and Faith level 2, that was. How about... Let's just keep going, Bows, honestly. Get him up to C rank, at least. And Dimitri, because he's literally our only choice. Well, he's our only good choice. Authority, actually. Yeah, actually... Yeah. Let's train Dimitri up to C rank. I'm gonna switch Ingrid to Bo's authority for a hot second here because I'm pretty sure there were at least two D rank battalions. So that could be one for Sylvain, one for Ingrid. And then Dimitri could take the C rank one. That's the I'd idea, like anyways. Uh, art has never been my forte. Even when I apply myself and sketch a ton, I don't seem to improve much. I can envision an image so perfectly in my head, but turning it into something physical that I feel good about eludes me. Dude, I have the same problem. This is like me to a T. Uh, but, it's Ingrid, right? So she's really knightly, so I assume that if I just, we just roll with this one, I, I want to say, focus more fervently and be diligent. I see. Yep. Man. Why do I make these videos? I should just be a teacher, honestly. That's what I should be doing. Mercedes would like to speak with me. It's always a great time. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? I guess just because, uh, oh yeah, because I, I tutored her, and that does give support points. That's right. I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the academy are enriching thanks to you. You're just the greatest, Professor. Okay, so <laughs> I will say that I've noticed that a lot of these guys seem to be laying it out a little bit thick. I haven't really done much. I've been here like a month, guys. Come on. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. I mean, Felix didn't really. He just wants to fight. 
The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Yeah, no Barless Solos here. Even so. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. Said it's about to give it to you straight. To be perfectly honest. I had my doubts when I first met you. That's surprising. Why is that? Why is that? Is it because I have no experience in the field? <laughs> At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. I'm pretty sure Mercedes actually is older than Byleth. Or at least, I i mean, I assume. Well, maybe not. I don't know. His, his age is like a mystery, but she's like 23, You're so. Strong willed, encouraging, and you go to great 23, 24, to something like that. that. Everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. I'm not trying too hard. You're trying too hard. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, too I true. still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Mistakes such as? Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um... Well, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Bit of a scattered brain, huh? Yeah, I went out to practice totally naked. It was so embarrassing. Anyway, I forgot all my it? clothes. You should have seen it. That's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. Mercedes, as you freak. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me. Is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm not sure about that. Thanks, Mercedes. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Oh, that was nice. Oh, yes, motivation maxed out. Increase. 100 points. We take those. It's Lorenz's birthday? No. I don't got money for you, kid. I barely have money enough to arm half my guys. Well, that worked out. Nice fading blow. so much left to learn. Smash. Really getting the hang of this. Lance prowess level two. This isn't so hard. Oh, another spell. I, I'm getting is the thunder hang of really this. even that good though? Authority level one. Maybe it's three range though, because it wasn't echoes, right? Can I check that from here? No, I guess not. I'll have to check that. Oh wow, look at that. We got all kinds of stuff from this one. That was really good, <laughs> yeah. Is that an item I saw? Hmm. Permanently increase the dexterity by one. Oh yeah, you guys did say that you can get stat boosters from the gardening. Uh, I don't know if I really want to spam that though. That seems kind of luck based, honestly. But I mean, it's just it's just hit rate, right? So maybe we use that one. I don't know. I'll think about it. It seems like that could be kind of overpowering, though. Like if you if you got a good seed or something like that. I don't know which seeds do what, but just imagine you got one that gave speed or something like that, or like strength. You know? It seems like that could get kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Immortality stew. We shall live forever, and our foes shall know true fear. Yes, Professor, level up. You now have more activity points for exploration, more monthly funds. Ah, oh, no more no more tutoring points though. <laughs> That's what I was really hoping for, man. Yeah, I don't know, just four at a time is just this so limiting right now. This horn dog. This is the only lance I want you playing with from now on, buddy. Let's see if we can't knock him up to C rank. There's C rank authority. Hey, C rank faith. Each new C rank reason. Ooh, battalion it. wrath? Ooh! This Yo! So hard. There's physic. Yes, yes, yes. I'm starting to get it. It'll Another spell for a net. Curve shot for Ingrid. Oh my god. It's all coming together, guys. What's oh, Edelgard's birthday? Mmm. Nah. <laughs> Professor, I think you have a problem. No, Bernie, just shut up and take the plant. Oh, I can throw stuff at Catherine, too. I mean, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> right at, why not? How do you feel about roses, I'll take Catherine? It. Thanks. Uh, I'll take pretty it. mediocre. Thanks. I'll take it. Thanks. All right, I think that's enough, Deltray. No, no, <laughs> Catherine, come on, join my team. Felix and Bernadetta have a support. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes no sense. Let's do that. 
Let's get Ash in on this. Not because I'm going to tutor him, but just because the kid deserves some kind of meal. And this makes four. This looks delicious. Let's eat. Yeah, and then let's go kill your dad. Did you know that? Uh This game hates Ash, I swear. Hopefully he gets like the happiest ending of all. Like everybody else dies horribly, but Ash comes out like a millionaire or something like that. That'd be great. Yeah, to hell with it. I mean I only have four points anyway, so let's let's bring Hanemon, I guess. That's right. That's right, Hanemon. Welcome to the dining room. I like this. And Marianne still won't support me. Come on, Marianne. I'm trying so hard. I'm going to go throw flowers at you for a bit. More supports. Bernadette again. <laughs> wow, we cut her out twice in the Great same month. Today. Perfect for shutting yourself inside, don't you think? Wow, inviting me to your room and the second support? Things are moving kind of fast, don't you think? I think I'll head outside, actually. You know, get some sunlight. Right here. Oh my god, Bertie, take the hit. Leave your room, the damn you. The less crowded it is in here. I can't pass up having all the space to myself. Quite the recluse, this one. Feeling like I'm all alone in the world. What made yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Steal the words right out of my mouth, why don't you? What made you such a recluse? Yeah, really oh, though. That. Well, I guess I can tell you, Professor. That's right, it's time for my dark, sad backstory. My father's obsessed with money. He's only ever seen me as bait for a rich husband. Oh, really? To train me to be a good wife, he'd do things like tie me to a chair. What the fuck? I tried hard to do as he asked. Honestly, I did. But before I knew it, I just couldn't bring myself to leave my room anymore. <laughs> what the shit? Yo, Bernie, your dad's insane. Well, that explains I just everything. Had this overwhelming feeling of fear all the time. No matter how hard I tried, my father never thought I was good enough. After that, he was just constant scolding. He couldn't say two words to me without mentioning how useless I was. An unmarriageable girl. Oh, Bernie, no. My life You're was fine. isolated, to say the least. I wasn't allowed to play with other kids, let alone make friends. Soon, I stopped wanting that. I was happiest alone. But even that made him mad. And when he tried to drag me outside, I kicked and screamed so much, I seriously hurt myself. Jesus. He's calmed down a bit in recent years. His constant torment was replaced with complete indifference. He mostly acts like I don't exist now. Okay, I was joking about it, but no, this actually, this is really messed up, honestly. It kind of paints her character in a new light. I mean, if I'm her, I probably just want to be left the hell alone, too, honestly. Like, jeez, man. I couldn't imagine doing that to your own kid. How'd you end up at the monastery? Just to get away from the guy, I imagine. If you can believe it, I was basically kidnapped. Oh, and it gets worse. My mother ordered an attendant to stuff me in a bag while I was sleeping. By the time I figured out what was going on, I was already here. For a while, I was sure I was going to die. Man, what the hell is wrong with your family, Bernie? What? Here I am. Look at me. Still breathing. So did did her mother do it to to get her away, or is she is she insane too? I just uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you down talking like that about my past. No, it's fine, just honestly. I told you. There's no point in talking about myself anyway. Idiot! Jesus. Oh, this is why everyone hates you, Bernie! Don't worry about it, honestly. I'm the only one who would ever say such a kind thing to me, Professor. <laughs> oh, I sorry. cut her off. <laughs> oh no, I'm you. part of the problem. What the hell, man? <laughs> God. And I thought I only had one thing to be sad about today. Here I was, feeling for Ash. And now we're just gonna add that to the list. Great. Thanks, game. Yeah. Not like I like any of these characters or anything. Why would I why would I want the best for them? No, let's just let's just fuck them all up, fam. Let's just yeah. After all, if your parents aren't dead or insane, are you even a Fire Emblem character at that point? Honestly. Dear goddess, I ask for guidance. And you just know Marianne's equally depressing, because like, <laughs> just look at her. Uh, professor. I suppose you came by to pray too? Nope, I'm here for your backstory. Just passing by. Yeah, that's right. 
You know me, see. always praying. And that's why I'm here too. But didn't you tell Lorenz? Yeah, I know what I said to Lorenz. What uh, were you praying for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. So soon? Yeah, do you have a moment to chat? I was about to say, this is the shortest conversation ever. Um, okay. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. Yeah, I noticed. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Why is that? Oh, um, no particular reason. Yeah, not like my dad locked me in a room and tied me to a chair or anything. I just, I just don't like people. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Ah, don't worry about it. Is this like my default response? <laughs> um, thank you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye. Oh, I thought she was done. I'm sorry. I almost don't want to like, get her up to be right, because I'm going to learn some stuff that I hate, probably. <laughs> yeah, my father was pretty normal. He just liked to torture animals. That's why I loved them so much. I always felt so bad when he would beat the horses. If, if he didn't get to see, I probably would have just sent him to solo, honestly. Uh, and I guess we can, yeah, we can take up authority too. Oh, he might get to D rank after all. Cool. I am kind of worried about Felix though because he has he has a bane in authority, and I feel like that might come back to bite him in the ass at the end of the game. You know, when everybody has all these sweet battalions that they can use, and he's kind of just stuck with the E rank ones. You know, so maybe I have to try and fight through that at some point. I guess. Yes, D rank. Rally magic, ooh. I'm getting the hang of this. That could be interesting. Does that count for staff range too? Cause that might be something. If I like, if I get desperate, I might be able to like increase my physic Looks range like for I a turn it. or something. That could be neat, I guess. Well, you learned a lot. Yes, C rank. Battalion renewal. Interesting. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. That's right. And apparently. There's gonna be more rallies eventually, so why not? <laughs> My passion has always been for sorcery. With that passion and some more time and studying reason, I can be a powerful magic user. Or, hear me out, we can figure out why you have a boon in axes. We could also figure that out, <laughs> and I'm kind of curious, I'll be honest. Hey, we did pretty well. All because I really went for it, of course. Oh, of You're course, Sylvain. You're one, aren't you, Sylvain? I did the bulk of the work here, you know. Mm hmm. Hey, like me story, Sylvain. Got it. Good to go. Hey, E rank, nice, nice. He'll fly eventually. Oh, look at this. Optimal I've distribution. My understanding. One skill. Well, that worked out. Two skill. Oh, close counter. It's all becoming clearer. Night kneeler. Okay, that one was kind of on purpose. I was hoping that Sylvain would get that. I won't lie. Because I, like I said, I did beat Chapter 3. And that was, I mean, not on maddening mode, but like before when I played it on hard mode. I did beat Chapter 3. I feel like Night kneeler might be important. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And I'm glad to see that that seems to be just like a standard skill. I wasn't sure. It almost seemed like maybe that would be like a personal thing for Dimitri. You know, kind of to make up for the fact that he doesn't get like a rapier or like a horse slaying weapon personal type thing. But uh, we definitely take those. We definitely take those. And uh, it's not looking too good for the boss, let me just say. <laughs> oh, a speed carrot. Oh my god. A little bit on the nose there, don't you think, game? So I assume that that is a speed stat booster, which... I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, does the game expect you to use them, or is it just like a bonus? And first first of all, is this even permanent? Because if it's not, then it's like whatever. Permanently increases speed by one. Even among carrots, it grants especially fast feet. <laughs> is that what carrots are known for? I thought they were known for, like, night vision. It's actually trained bows up a little bit. Ooh, great, nice. Practice Let's get that results. up a little bit. Bow prowess level one, cool, cool. Practice yields results. Yeah, let's do that though, because uh, I think Bernie needs that as a requirement. And also, just bows just generally seem pretty good. And everybody has full motivation anyways. Plus, 20 hours later. Let's try and fight, I think. Oh, I can see Marianne. What does she have? She has Blizzard? What is this? Basic ice magic. Oh, it has 15 crit. That's kind of cool. Only 70 hit, a little inaccurate. And she only has 8 skills, so like... 
That's pretty shaky, honestly. Yes, Blizzard healed no spro- Ooh, Physic! Oh, double Physic! Are you serious? And she's already promoted, I've just realized. Yeah, she's a level 5 monk. Thank God! I was kind of worried that anybody you recruit would be level 1. Like, seriously, could you imagine recruiting somebody out of house and trying to use them if that were the case? So I guess these guys may be auto-level then. Thank the Lord. Okay, so using these people isn't going to be so bad after all. I think. Your house must help the Knights of Seros suppress Lord Lenato's rebellion at Castle Gaspar. Though you are told not to expect combat, the deep fog at Magdred Way sets you at ease. Or <laughs> sets you ill at ease, rather. Yeah, I'm not really worried about this, just kind of a chill stroll. <laughs> Chapter 3, The Magdred Ambush. It's Mutiny in the Mist. To accompany such a brave and distinguished knight. None other than Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. And it is broken. The Thunderbrand, what are you talking you don't about? Know? What are you talking about, Dimitri? Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long the time The hero's ago, relic. So I'm the guessing there's more of these. Divine weapons upon 10 heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. I'm wondering if they were passed down to, like, I the Crest Founders, basically. Such a reckless That's rebellion. kind of what I'm getting from you this. You should know more about that than any of us, Ash. Well, I don't. Lenato that really is the question of the, the day, though, team. honestly. He probably didn't want you getting caught up in his own personal vendetta. I really don't trust Rhea. I mean, it could be nothing, but then again... <laughs> Does her demeanor just seem so... Like, she's so quick to dismiss anybody who is even remotely against the church. Now, I know this is a rebellion, but just the way she speaks about it, just it sets off my radar, guys. <laughs> I'm getting bad vibes. What vendetta? How much do you know about the is church? Is Ash related to Lonato? <laughs> Not a whole lot. It's when the king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was... was murdered by the people of Dusker. It happened about four years ago. Mm. Right, okay, right, right, right. Please, go on. And that's why Ingrid is so mad. Because she lost her fiancé right. in that. Well, Maybe, Lord like, Benato's he was one of the guardsmen son, or something? was accused of being involved in that whole awful affair. He was executed by the church. Mm. The church executes criminals? Yeah, they're in that business, too? Speaking from the no church's perspective, he, would be so... he simply passed judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. That's no wonder that he would have a bit Whatever of a grudge the truth in that behind case. that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. I mean, that's pretty understandable, well, honestly. to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy mm -hmm. is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the knight's perimeter. It looks like And here we go. Changed, okay. <laughs> Everyone, prepare for battle. Oh, it's a good thing we have Catherine here, the broken. Okay, so Catherine, right? I remember this lady because she is. Woo! She's <laughs> something else. Let me tell you. Fighting spirit units takes five less damage with no battalion as a side. Oh, which reminds me, I still gotta buy some battalions. Uh, sword fierce. So now she has 37 attack. Basically, <laughs> sword grip plus 10, because why not? She only has naturally 32 crit, is all. 37 attack, 18 attack speed, 13 protection, actually 18 protection, and 13 resilience. End the Thunderbrand, the hero's relic, Crest of Sharon. Crest Bear can use food drawing yacht. Strike twice of initiating combat. Good God. Please, please give me this lady. You can't just wave a unit like this in front of my face and not give her to me. Dude, don't blue ball me, man. Dimitri made a deceit, so let's get this one right here. Not very high hit rate, but it does give us a flat five charm boost, so maybe that helps out a little bit. But overall, that just seems like a good battalion to have. Ingrid, let's take the Pegasus Knights. Oh, this one also gives five charm. I think we saw, yeah, there's actually a magic battalion. Okay. Or I could give her a salt tree. Oh, no, that's minus two damage. Never mind. What about these brawlers? Is that two one? physical attack. That seems like that could be good. Well, we have this that's large bullion, punch. though. Okay, I was going to say, it seems like... Seems like I didn't have that much money, honestly, for them to be dropping all of this good stuff on us. But no, we're Is good. We're good. One? So let's give this to Ash, <laughs> I think. I think that's a pretty safe bet, honestly. 
game. We'll go with the mercenaries for to do, just for an extra little bit of hit, I guess. Five hit isn't too bad. Thanks Let's get this training lance for Sylvain. Actually, because I noticed when I was editing the previous part that if I would have only had a training lance on, like, Dimitri, for example, a lot of those hit rates would have been way, way better. Those 80s would have jumped up to 100%, I'm pretty sure, with the training lance, right? Because the difference between these two... Okay, so they would have been 95s with the training lance. There was quite a few times when a training lance would have done the trick in combination with Tempest Lance, so I really think that we want to roll with at least one of those. I'll give it to Sylvain. Alright, so here's what we got. So... Uh, not a whole lot. Who knows if this is good or not, really. It's Smog of War, man. <laughs> I did actually switch the the battalion on Sylvain, though, to one that gives defense, because I kind of want to put him out on the front as much as possible here, and uh, every little bit of defense will help with that, I think. Uh, just so that he can level up, hopefully, a little bit more. He's only level 2 right now, after all. Victory conditions. Defeat the enemy commander. Defeat conditions. Delta or Dimitri somehow eats shit. With this fog... It's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. Yeah, I just don't see that happening, because I have so much speed that I'm not getting doubled, really, and Dimitri has so much defense that it doesn't really matter, you know? So I think they'll be fine, trust me. And the here they come. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! Honestly, Catherine, with you on the field, I think they're going to be busy trying to run away. Jesus Christ, this lady's broken. In the fog. It seems the knights are already battling. It's like they're fighting each other. Oh shit, I thought you were the enemy. My bad, dude. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Right. So she's just explaining fog of war. Pretty standard stuff. It just means we can't see where the enemy is, really. You can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful not to let your allies flee. Right, so we gotta keep the green units alive as much as possible. Let's see if we can get a better look. Got some forests to the north. What Probably want to try and stay away from those as much as possible anyway. So let's use this torch with the dew and see what we can see. And we do see a bunch of enemies. Yeah, this is why I don't want to be close to the forest because I thought there might be some guys hiding in the trees. But you're going to have to wake up a little bit earlier than that to pull one over on old Deltre. He knows a thing or two about nature, let me tell you. So we can just move in everybody a little bit. And what I want to do is try and sort of set myself up to hit everybody with stride on the next turn. Now, I don't know if I explicitly said what this does, but I do remember this thing because it is crazy. Look at that. Allies gain five movement until the end of the turn. Now, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but here we are. Now, I'm definitely going to be using that as much as possible. It just seems like one of the best skills in the game, honestly. Five movement. That is so much. Such a ridiculous amount. Speaking of ridiculous, these green units... Probably gonna get themselves killed. I do have Marianne though, thank God, because I can see myself needing to heal you these guys. Just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our Lord? Well, I was kind of hoping. Why, Lenato? Why did you drag so many others into this? Ah, man, Ash just sounds so distraught by all this. I gotta say, I love the voice <laughs> editing in this game. It's so convincing. Dimitri's gonna take a bit of damage there. Oh, and right, he's going to have Poison Strike, too. Because, yeah, you guys said that all enemies do, in fact, share skills with other enemies of the same class. So all these archers will have Poison Strike. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate, but what can you do, really? Now, here comes Catherine. Get the archer, please. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Foudroyant Strike. Crest of Sharon. Good night. Only a one-shot. You really thought you would challenge Catherine, huh? Maybe not your best move gonna throw that out there oh at least these green guys are landing their hits so maybe I can kill this guy pretty easily somebody like Annette should do oh yes every single one of those connected there's no way Annette fails to kill this guy right he's on 10 come on she's only level one but still yeah look at that let's go Annette the beast herself blow him away for a level up as well nice let's get some magic though Hit points, luck, charm, oh, that was so bad, it was so bad she didn't even remark on it, she's like, no, no, we can just forget that one. Ugh, better luck next time, I suppose, but, that's not a very good looking at, I gotta say. Thank you. So there goes that stride, and now we can just do like this. <laughs> I don't think that'd be a good idea, though. Instead, what we're gonna do, I guess we can take the do. And I don't think that he'll die out here, because he has... A good amount of defense even if I don't wait in place right so I can smash this guy 
And it should reveal more of the map for us as well. So let's go. Danu, 94% and we hit. It's looking pretty good. Maybe. Oh, it's suddenly looking a little bit less good. <laughs> Damn it. So this guy, the Dark Mage, with this crazy mask, which, by the way, I've been sitting on this for a year, right? Because these... The, the design of these Dark Mages looked so familiar to me, and I wasn't sure where I had seen this before. But you know what this is? These guys are actually based on, like, middle-aged plague doctors, okay? And they would wear these masks, like the ones they have in that portrait there, to prevent themselves, or at least this is what they thought, okay? They thought they were protecting themselves from what they would call miasma, which is their spell, as you can see. So that's a really cool connection right there. So they wore these masks to protect themselves from what they called miasma, thinking that that was what caused people to get sick, right? And I just, I, I don't know why this is so cool to me, but that's just a really interesting place to draw inspiration from, I guess. Because that's what it is. These guys are basically plague doctors. I'll see if I can't find an image of that so you can see what I'm saying, but I just thought that was so neat. Just let me have this, man. I've been sitting on that for like a year. <laughs> so, Heart Seeker, right, minus 20 avoid during combat, reason level 4, and seal strength. That could be kind of annoying. But it doesn't look like he wants to move. Now, with these guys, they have gambits, which could be very bad. But we also have a gambit of our own, which could be very good. Ooh, 80%. That's a pretty good hit rate, honestly. I guess charm must be pretty impactful because we only have seven more than this guy. And yet the hit rate is 80% despite only having 50 hit. With the training lance, he can do 10. So if I use Felix and myself, we should be able to get him to 10, I'm sure. And we'll use the iron sword to not get doubled. Yeah, seems to make sense to me. So let's go. Mystery crest. I feel like I'm never gonna get one of those that matters like ever <laughs> ever. I Just don't like to plan around the crest man. They just seem I mean they're really cool But it's like why would you count on that? You know and we don't technically need the steel bow, but we will get a lot more experience from doing it this way uh, Comparatively speaking so curve shot with the steel bow it is Because you do get experience based on the amount of damage that you do maybe I'll, I'll show that actually let me let me shoot this guy first and I'll show you what I mean but it makes a very big difference from what I can tell. Because look at this. So I'm going to attack this archer. Well, what, I, what I'm going to end up doing ultimately, right? I'm going to kill this guy with Ingrid, just, just so we're clear on that. But I'll, I'll just show you real quick. If I hit this guy and do four with the training lance right, like so, I'm going to get basically no experience. Look at that, three points. Now if I take Sylvain I'm on it. and use like Tempest Lance, I guess, with the training lance still, I'll do 12 damage here. Oh, uh, does he live? He does live. So I do 17 damage that time, and now I get way more experience, as you can see. So yeah, even if, like, even if the damage that you do is kind of overkill in a sense, uh, you still want to hit enemies as hard as possible, because that that's a lot of experience that you'd be losing otherwise. That was, what, 3 versus 14 points or something like that? So 11 points just from hitting that guy a little bit harder. And that's going to add up really quickly. So, unless... Unless you're, like, in incredibly concerned about accuracy or something like that, I guess I would say always hit the enemy as much as possible, even if it's totally overkill. Because, like I say, 10 points at a time is going to be what? Like, an, an entire level up over the course of a map, probably, that you could have gotten if you just hit the enemy a little bit harder when you were doing your chipping. Uh, I'm actually going to use Physic because we do have Marianne here, too. And I can't see burning through eight Physic uses unless I intentionally try to do that. And we do want to use Physic with uh, Mercedes because it gives a little bit more experience, I do believe. And that should help her level up just that much faster, basically. Now, what we can do... Tempest Lance, Steel Lance for 92% accuracy. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And we get him. Unnecessary Crest. Seriously, if I ever get one of those that matters, I would be shocked. Now, with Dimitri, we're actually going to switch him to the Training Lance as well because he may get doubled. I didn't really look at their stats that closely, honestly, but that first wave was just kind of fodder. This guy, though, could be more of an issue. He has 17 attack, which is only, what, 4 damage to Dimitri if he's out there. And let's say the other guys are just as strong, so 4 damage per mercenary, which is nothing, really. Uh, this guy does 2 damage, which, again, that's nothing. And this guy doesn't want to move, so the only thing that could honestly take Dimitri down if I move him out here would be something like a group of mages. Or, a, like, a shit ton of archers could probably do it, too, because he'd be getting chipped down regardless of his defense. But I'm honestly willing to roll the 80% here, because if we can hit this, 
<laughs> this slowly moving car. Maybe we should move. Oh! Yeah, maybe don't stand there next time, guys. But we do hit that, and this should lock these two down. And it does. Oh my god, what is this? Flame, neutral terrain. It just sets the land on fire? What? Attack that ignites certain terrain in the area into flame, but what does that do? Oh, look at that. Minus 15% uh, health, I guess. So like they're going to take passive damage, I assume. That's pretty cool. I will bring back this green guy. We do get a reward if they survive, so I mean, we may as well. Kind of sucks to have to use the physic for that, but nobody else desperately needs healing right now. Yeah, look at that. They all take five. That's pretty sweet. That's a very handy gambit, I gotta say. So we do a good amount to this guy. Should be able to take him out with really anybody who knows Tempest Lands, honestly. So probably Agrid, honestly. Seems like we might be able to get her a good amount here. We're gonna miss that guy, but that's a whole ass Catherine right there. So I don't really think him getting hit matters or not, to be honest with you. Easy. Easy. Way too easy. So Sylvain's actually not even gonna take damage whatsoever. This is looking pretty good. Uh, no mages came at me, so that's great. Like I say, those were really the only thing I was kind of worried about, because there's that dark mage just chilling in the middle like that. Who knows, maybe he has some friends. Dimitri's gonna slay them all. Nothing new to see here, folks. Level up, though. Oh, and it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it was such a good level. Got every important stat and charm on top of that. Which, if charm is going to affect hit rates on Gambit so much, that I feel like charm could be a great stat to have, honestly. Please tell me Catherine goes first. Yes. Repent from the grave. Good night, kid. Have 99 damage real quick. I mean, how that feels. She is such a monster. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hide behind Catherine. Can't say I blame him. Now, we should be able to wipe these guys right now, I think. Now, how do we want to do that, I guess, would be the next question. We can take Ash, I suppose. I'll give it my all. Who can shoot this mercenary who got a little too close. Yeah. Oh, and something else that I noticed. I, I don't know if I can see it from here. But I, I noticed this when I went back to edit the previous video, right? So, the, the generics in this game, they have different portraits sometimes. Like, this guy, he looks a certain way. And then this guy has... A completely different hairstyle and he also has facial hair too and I think that that's just for every enemy like they can be totally different like this guy's got a little bit of mutton chops going on it looks like and this guy's totally clean shaven that's just such a cool detail honestly like it never stops with this game I swear but yeah we can take Ash we can curve shot this guy for seven whole damage good lord Ash come on man I just explained to the people that the amount of damage you do determines your experience and you're gonna do seven a pop to be fair, yeah, his his battalion reduces physical attacks, so that's probably what's going on. I mean, there's only four of them that I have to kill, and I think I can give this archer to a net. But I would have to take damage on Felix and Mercedes to do that. I say it's worth it. I really want to trade a net. I really do. And Mercedes can bring herself back by healing somebody else because of her live to serve ability. So I can I can do this with Felix. I think the Steel Bow plus a net would have been enough by itself, but the thing is, I don't want Felix on the Steel Bow, because that leaves him prone to getting double attacked. So we do like that, which also boosts the duo up a little bit to 95% now. So this should be a good hit to take this guy out. There we go. Tear open the ground, my man. And that should be a level up too, and it is nice. Let's go to do. I imagine defense. Oh, strength res, excuse me. Obviously, to do the res tank. This is a slight risk, but it's either we take this or we don't get a kill for Annette. Those are our two options right now, basically. So I, again, I don't want Felix on the Steel Bow, not on the front like that. He, unlike Sylvain and Dimitri, does not have a godlike amount of defense. He's only got the eight. And uh, the enemies seem to get a lot of their damage from double attacks, so each point of defense is essentially worth two. You know what I mean? Because the enemies might not have a lot of attack, but they hit you twice. So in that sense, even though the enemies can easily kill one of your weaker characters, 16 defense at the same time is also a huge amount. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? It's not like New Mystery of the Emblem where they hit you really hard one time, and that's why you're taking so much damage. Because in that game, an enemy might deal 20 damage to you in a single hit. But in this game, the enemies deal 20 damage to you, but it takes two hits. So one point of defense makes all the difference there. 
Yeah, with this archer, it should be a simple matter to hit him with myself. And then finish with Sylvain, I want to say. Tempest Lance, Trading Lance. Yep, 17 and 13. That is a done deal, folks. So let's go with the rest right. Such a great ability. It's kind of like a mid-ground between Tempest Lance and Curve Shot, honestly. At any rate, with Sylvain, we can just knock this guy out of here right now. Trading Lance, he can be on the front. He even dodged that hit, so I don't even need to heal him, really. So I guess I can heal Dimitri instead of Marianne. Let's go, Sylvain, level 3. Strength defense, hey. Not bad. Oh, and he got more protection from his battalion now, too. So he's he's way up. 14 defense now. Jesus, man. Ingrid, I'm actually going to trade myself to the bow because we do have a support. And that should allow us to hit 97% of the time here. Yes, that's what we want. Absolutely, dude. I feel like these link attacks are just so useful early on. I don't know if it's going to matter as much later on when maybe we have higher dexterity. That's a pretty good level up. Yeah, more defense. Yeah, I don't know how much it'll matter later on, but right now it's just so clutch. That's why I'm kind of being sort of particular with the order in which I move my guys. Because we want to maximize our hit chances, basically. Thanks. I guess that's probably part of the reason why it's taking me a little bit longer to uh, think through these turns sometimes, because... Uh, for example, if there would have been some way to put people next to this Mirajan right here, we might have been at 100% hit rate, which, you know, 91 is still pretty good. We're going to go for it, obviously. But if we would have been at 100% hit rate, I would obviously rather have that instead. So I guess it's just like one extra layer of consideration when making your moves, which is pretty cool. I like that. I definitely like that. It makes uh, movement order more of something to think about. Oh, get destroyed. I forgot he had that close counter ability now, too. Yeah. Felix is a demon, man. What a guy. Really. Now, this archer got way too close, and nothing else came out of the fog, either. Really interesting. I thought there would be more guys, truthfully. But we're not looking so bad here at all. Uh, Dimitri, I'm going to move him next to this archer just for the sake of boosting myself. And I want to give this guy to Ingrid as well. So let's go. Iron Sword, Rest Strike, cannot miss. We can get so much damage on this guy right now. It's going to be very easy for Ingrid to finish that dude off. Uh, I guess... Well, I was going to switch to the bow, but I actually can't miss regardless. So I'll switch to the axe because I want Sylvain out in the front again. And that could give us a little bit more damage here if there's anything that's going to come out of the fog like that. Uh, so, curve shot it is. Yet another one falls to Ingrid the God. I feel like she's got to be a pretty fast character, so maybe she starts doubling sooner than some of my other guys. That's kind of why I'm trying to feed her experience here. That's my reasoning anyways. I don't know that that's true necessarily, but she screams Pegasus Knight. She screams Pegasus Knight more than Felix screams Myrmidon, honestly. Good job, kid. If anything, I guess he's getting class experience, right? Uh, now, I think I am actually in range of that Dark Mage if I move there. Let's move Sylvain out here first, I guess. Maybe we can reveal somebody. No, it looks like we're good. So I will move with Felix. And I, I do think I'm in range of that Dark Mage, but if he's not going to move, we have to get damage on him somehow. And Felix seems like a good enough candidate for that, I would say. Uh, obviously, i got to heal him back before we do anything too crazy, but it shouldn't be a problem. We have a whole Mercedes right there. We can drop this guy right now with Felix. And he's going to hit level 5 by the end of this if it kills me, honestly. Leonardo, please don't die. I'm sorry to say, man, but we got to do it. I am sorry. But did you really think you would get away with this? I almost wonder if he didn't. Like, he's just doing this to prove a point or something, maybe. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Uh, we can use Physic with Mercedes. I know that Thanks. it might seem a little bit weird doing that for melee range like that, but honestly... Uh, if we can burn those physics, that's better because it's more experience. So we can move to do in here and use the torch. And with a net, we can just move in as well. I guess we can rally for to do just to get support oh points, really. No other reason, honestly. I'm going to heal the green guy in case he does something crazy, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to die, man. We get a reward after all. Oh, and we still get support points with myself even for that. So that's pretty cool. I Wait, what? You anywhere near Lord what? This guy moves? Oh, man. Are you serious? 
I thought it said he stayed in place. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. This could be it for Sylvain. He doesn't get double attacked, thankfully. Yeah, that could have been bad, because I switched to the axe, which is heavier. Okay, here comes another. We're only dealing two damage now. Oh, right, that, the, uh, the mage had steel strength, of course, of course. Yeah, that was not a great look, honestly. Thankfully, that's all, though. Had there been another mage, that could have gotten really bad really quick. Now, as for this guy, I think we're going to try to kill him with myself, honestly. The good news, I suppose, uh, from Sylvain taking all that damage is that this guy isn't in the woods anymore. So that could be a good thing, if anything. And we can take a shot with Felix pretty safely here. Maybe I should have moved the dude first, though. Who, who knows what could be up north. And, and we miss. We do miss. All right, so what about this? We training Lance Tempest Lance to you. This gets Dimitri out of the way. And I can use Ash to get a curve shot. Oh my god, he tanks. This is a sad sight indeed. Okay, so <laughs> Annette, myself, and Ingrid can gang up on this guy to kill him for sure. And I think that's exactly what we're going to go for here. So we can start with Annette. And I, st I still want to give it to myself though. Because again, I need experience too. And we, we kind of want to get to level 10 as soon as possible, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill the boss here because that's got to be Sylvain as well as uh, Dimitri pretty much. Because they're basically please. specced out to do that. I would like to kill the mage first because, as I remember, it clears away the fog. And I wonder if that's going to be consistent for other Fog of War maps. Like, it'll be caused by some external factor that you can get rid of. That would be pretty cool, I won't lie. Oh, what did I just say? I wanted to give this to myself. Uh, that's what I get for talking. Oh, well, uh, it shouldn't matter, I think. Yeah, seems good to me. So Sylvain knocks this guy into a new dimension. And get some experience too, hopefully. A good amount. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, Ingrid can do as I say, knock this guy away. Honestly, I, I'll i just use the lance. I was going to use the bow, but... I'd like Mercedes to heal from next to Deltre. Yeah, just for a little bit more experience. But I also don't really want her exposed either. So I guess I didn't really need to attack with the net, but experience is experience. The fog is lifting as a result of the Dark Mage being defeated. It seems the fog is being caused by magic. And here we go. This cutscene is pretty awesome. I remember this one. Oh god, it's her! Run away! You think she can turn that glowing off? Or does it do that by itself? God, she just leaps like 40 feet into the air. What a badass. Oh, and she even has a cool name. It was your wretched celery that killed my son. <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros. But not literally, though, because I'm over in these trees. Thank you very much, Catherine. The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the gods. Sorry to say, Lenato, but she doesn't have to hide from you. You need to hide from her. Because I'm pretty sure that Catherine could just beat this map by herself. Like, no lie. Especially because she has that personal ability of hers. So she has, like, 18 defense, basically. <laughs> oh, so we got some people on Sylvain. They can't even kill his ass. And we're not in range for these guys either. So this isn't looking so bad. Uh, I'll still heal him up just for the sake of doing that. Don't really have anybody else who demands it like that, you know. So physic to Sylvain, like so. Yeah. I owe you one. It's a good amount of experience. Yeah, I I don't feel like Mercedes really needs to worry about her experience like that. The only thing that it can really do would be uh, allow her to have more healing spells per map, which that could be really nice. I won't lie. So maybe we want to try and make that happen sooner rather than later. But other than that, I'm not really worried about her. It's kind of nice, really, not having to worry about giving her kills because she can just heal and get experience like that instead. Yeah, they are going to come for Sylvain. But that's to be expected, and it doesn't really matter. We can get tons of damage on these guys right now. Oh, they blocked themselves. What an idiot. Are you serious, man? <laughs> that's like strategy 101. Attack with the people in the back first. Just the basics, man. 
how close would we need to be to cheese out Lenato? Pretty close, I would imagine. <laughs> like, okay, so can I do it from outside their range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, but outside their range would let me attack these fighters, which I would have to do if I was gonna bum rush this guy. Yeah. So if I if I'm if I'm here and here with Sylvain and Dimitri, and then I hit them both with Stride, and I can kill these two fighters, and also kill whoever ends up here because or not here but kill whoever ends up blocking the way essentially then I can sweep Lenato right now so I think we want to try to do that uh, my guys are pretty much conglomerated yet again so that's perfect for a stride yeah we'll move out there use a vulnerary in case I need to attack with Mercedes or something Dimitri can take this spot and they can't all dogpile Sylvain because they can't, like, they can't get behind him, essentially. So he's not actually in as much danger as it might seem. Use the training, or the steel lance even. So if this guy attacks Dimitri, for example, he'll take way more damage. Now this guy could gambit me, which would ruin everything, but if the knight decides to block the way, or if this guy decides to block the way, then he won't be able to gambit me and Dimitri has 19 charm versus this guy's 12 so I assume he has a pretty good chance to dodge if I line myself up just right he should actually be able to pull this off I'll just use this last physics because I'm actually going to attack with Mercy on the next turn so might as well use that and get the little bit of experience it also boosts up my head right right here so I can attack this guy now with myself like so and then we can give it to Annette who should then level up again which would be great. Hopefully she can do better this time. Good lord, Annette. Come on. I'm putting a lot of faith in you here. Because I just got to know why she has an axe wound. Like, that can't just be me, right? I can't be the only one who's curious about that. Hit points. Yeah, that's more like it. Got magic. Uh, strength is probably a little bit weird, but maybe if she kept getting strength, that could be something. Like, to mitigate her weapon weight and all that. Uh, curve shot, more than enough damage here. And we're gonna try to stride myself and line up everybody else in such a way that we can take full advantage of that effect. Uh, curve shot is enough. Curve shot is enough, but uh, do I want Ingrid in on this? Worst case scenario, I can still use Dedu to get the kill. Uh, it wouldn't be ideal, but we, w we won't lose if I miss this attack, basically. Nobody's in any danger regardless. And we do hit because Ingrid is the GOAT. Hell yeah, my girl. So she got quite a bit of experience on this map, which is exactly what I wanted. Ooh, I guess we can't have it all, right? Uh, hopefully she doesn't get strength shoot or anything like that. I feel like that's probably her thing, because that's usually the thing with Pegasus Knights. But nothing we can do now, unfortunately. We're just going to have to deal with it for the time being. Another point of strength would have been so, so nice, though. Because then she wouldn't be getting weighed down nearly as much. Now, let's see how this goes. They do come for Sylvain. That's what I thought. Two of them should dogpile Sylvain. And a third should go for Dimitri. Here comes the knight. And he's actually going to use his axe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That could be very good. Sylvain's not locked into blaze. I thought that's what was going to happen here. Disturbance. 35%. No way. No way. Yeah, get out of here. So now, my man, Lenato, it ain't looking so good. What we're going to do is we're going to take Ash, and we're going to stride for myself. Yeah, right there. And that hits everybody. Oh, I didn't get to do it on that. I'm, I'm trash. <laughs> we got Marianne instead. I don't think that makes any difference. Not that I can see. Although, Dudu could have, like, swung around and hit the Armor Knight. Because he's the guy we got to kill. We got to kill the Armor Knight. I guess he's, he's blocking both Dimitri and Sylvain at the same time, basically. So we have a supercharged Marianne. Uh, she deals 14 times 2, uh, but she also happens to support Dimitri and Ash, so this is great. With the rally boost from Ingrid, that's a one shot, or a one round, rather. Potentially, potentially. Yeah, if I would have switched uh, Marianne and Dudu, Dudu could have swung around from behind, which would have made this safer, I think. But Marianne is the GOAT. She does not miss, which clears us a path. We'll go with a net, and we'll put her in the middle of things just for the sake of boosting up everybody's hit. Cutting Gale in combination with a curved shot 
can take this guy out. So let's go, Annette. We don't miss the 95, which is great. She's still, she's getting some experience, I guess. But, eh. With Felix, yeah, I feel like I could have positioned this a little bit better so that he'd be at two range, but we take those 86% and he is done for. Level five as well, so that's a promotion. Luck defense, oh my lord, these level ups have been ass. <laughs> please, let me fail. Please, oh please, just let me fail. Doesn't she? I think Annette gives Mercedes uh, damage. That's pretty cool. That's very useful. That's very useful right here. 94%. We don't miss. And we get a level up. Level 3 for Mercedes. Okay. Magic, magic. Ugh. That was a strange level up. You see that? She got strength and defense. Mercedes, the tank. Trying to comfort a dude's job. Yeah, we don't get any... We don't get any damage here. So it must be just that Mercedes and Annette have a special support then. That's cool. I like that. I mean, it makes sense that they would. They were already friends. So we get the mystery crest. Put him down. Get a level up for ourselves. He's kind of far away from promotion still. Oh, these level ups have all been so bad. They've all been so, so bad. <laughs> but... With that, we have successfully cleared away. 90%. And we do have to use the Steel Lances, unfortunately. And I'm willing to try it at least once. We still have one leftover pulse. So yeah, let's just do it, man. Night Neil, with Dimitri. I apologize, your highness. It is regrettable that we should cross swords like this. Actually, I'm a lance user. We Wait, so am I. <laughs> I sympathize with your position. I really do. I have no wish to kill you, but I'm afraid you have left me no choice. Please. Forgive me. I just feel Your so bad for Ash, though. I cannot stop here. For my child. And for the people of Fodlan. I wonder what it is if that he you knows. you will not stand aside, then I have no choice but to cut you down. Big words. But he must know something that we're not privy to, because he doesn't seem unreasonable, you know what I mean? He just seems... Uh, committed. He seems like he has a very strong will, a very strong belief. That whatever he's fighting for, it's the right thing. But what could it be, you know? It's kind of where I'm lost. Might as well go for experience on the new. Nice. Oh, is that a generic female unit? I think it is. Ha! Huh. I like the fact that there's generic variety in this game. Yeah, that is. Ha! Huh. That's neat. I don't think that that almost ever happens. I think there were like some druids in one Fire Emblem 7 map, but that's the only one that's coming to mind. We don't even die from this technically, but I have nobody to heal Sylvain, so if this 90% fails, that would not be great. Uh, let's just do it, man. You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. I hate to do it to you, I really do. Got him. That vile woman. Kristoff, forgive me. Man, it's just such a rough deal. For both Leonardo and for Ash, really. This Lenato already lost his son. Thank you, at least somebody gets it. Way to go, Sylvain. Yeah, Lenato already lost his son in this in this incident. And Lenato. And now he leaves Ash in such a way too. So it's like this this whole family just it's tragic. It's, it really is. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. <laughs> Dang, you got over that real quick. Man, I never thought he'd go out like such a bitch. Well, that was fun. Hope we can do this again sometime. <laughs> Damn, Catherine, you're cold. Your allies did not suffer heavy losses, so you earned a reward from the Church of Seros. Nice. Secret book? Okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> and Goddess Saigon. Eh. Pretty mediocre. Maybe I can throw those on to uh, Marianne, though, under your recruiter. Ingrid, the MVP, actually. No favoritism needed. She's just that good. What can I say? But, thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Helps me out, helps the channel grow, and all that stuff. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.